one of the most prestigious races in all of France is the Prix d'Amérique. 1963 uh, is the year, and in the Prix d'Amérique, the track, uh, the distance is a mile and a five eighths, which are just about a mile and five eighths. That's right. No hub rail. Uphill and downhill, cinder racetrack. It's really an obstacle course, and there's a big field. But it's, a, it's the prize of America, that's mm -hmm. what it's named for. And it is the most prestigious race in the world, I think, for a trotting owner to win it, because after I won it, I said it was the greatest race, the most, biggest thrill I ever got in racing. You won it in what year? Uh, 73 with Delmonica Hanover. He was a winner with Delmonica Hanover. Did not drive, but a winner. Now, it was the biggest thrill in all of racing. Was it because you won the race or because you had your pocket picked? Well, I, <laughs> I had the grand dam of the mare, I had her dam, and bought her for 5200 owned her with a great friend of mine, and it was just a, and had a lot of friends there, a lot of people went over for the race, and I bought champagne and did everything that day, and bet on her too. Plus, you got your pocket picked in the winter circle. Yeah, and luckily I had $3,500 in American money down in my pocket in a rubber band that had given me some money for expenses to go over there with the mayor. And I had about $1,000 in France uh, money, big old money, francs. And they got the $1,000 in francs, but didn't go down and get the 3500 in American money. Delvin Miller, speaking of his visit to the Prix d'Amérique when he was a winner with Delmonica Hanover. Right now, though, we're going to see a horse by the name of Ozo representing France take on all comers in another great moment in harness racing. The trotting fans at Francis Vincent's racetrack are out for the Prix d'Amérique. Europe's richest trotting race that sees the continent's best out after $80,000 in prize money. Heavy favorite is Ozo, a five-year-old French mayor who is a champ in every rippling muscle. Just keep your eye on his number 15. Oscar R.L. is Ozo's only real competition in the race. But Roger Massou, owner-driver of the French champ, has no trouble keeping Ozo in the lead. Ozo thrilled crowds in New York last fall with a brilliant victory in the transoceanic trot. A victory today will send him back to the United States for another international trot in April. Now it's still Ozo, followed by Oscar R.L. and Quick Song, an American horse bred in Italy. Flying, Ozo goes all out in the final dash to the wire, followed by Oscar R.L., who hasn't given up yet. Down the stretch, it's Ozo, Oscar R.L., and Quick Song. Oscar R.L. keeps bidding right to the wire, staying on Ozo's heels. He almost makes it, too, but Ozo gets across one-fifth of a second in front. Same when you peek. 